Welcome to Fusion Fox Talent 360 tutorial to register and maintain employment contracts. This application is located in Human Capital Cloud T90 stack under SCM Essentials module. Let's open this application and see how we can manage employee contracts. To view the existing contract, there are two contracts. We will open one contract, which is for David Austin, and we will see how to define the contract here. Okay, so let's open the wizard through which we can create new contracts, and let's see. So first thing is to select an employee for whom you want to create the contract. All the details of the employee populates automatically. Define the contract period. So this, in this case, this contract is for two years. Okay, you can define the contract type. Okay, it's a direct or indirect contract. Means it is directly signed with the employee or there's any third party or manpower contractor involved in between. And then the contract is status and employment type. This is for incumbent or non-incumbent. If this employee is already incumbent, it comes automatically here. You can also link a workflow to take appropriate approvals on this particular contract before this can be formalized. And then in the next tab, we can see you can copy all contract for this employee so that you don't need to define everything again. So you can copy the previous contractor if this contract is getting renewed. So you can just change some terms if there are any or you can simply renew the contract. You can define FTE and in this case this person is the FTE is 80 percent and working hours are eight hours per day. The leave unit is days and you can define hours so the person can apply for leaves in hours also. It depends on your agreement with the employee payment currency work schedule if it is following or this person is following standard work schedule of the company defined in the organization or operating location then fine otherwise it can have a different work schedule also you can define that this document number is a contract number and date and if this person is you know having indirect contract then you can define the contractor through which this particular employee is uh, engaged and also you can define the billing unit billing rates and so on so this is the first thing to create a contract then we get into uh, leave eligibility so what kind of leaves that particular employee is eligible to so in this case you can select the leave name and accrual type it is accrued on monthly basis or yearly basis or semester basis and number of days so you can define all kind of leaves that particular employee under this contract is eligible to to take then the compensation structure that will be you know provided to to this employee in subject so here you have a base pay annually 36,000 euro and transportation is 3,600 per year Okay, so monthly amount is divided by 12. System can calculate and update the compensation information of the employee. Then we have uh, contract documents where you can upload all kind of documents related to this contract. Contract copy can be uploaded and also you can uh, define, you know, uh, and download these documents and view these documents. You can also define the work schedule if this person is not following either you know the FT is not 100% or this person is not following the regular uh, working hours of the company so you can define what days this person is working and what days so in this case because FT is 80% so this person is also not working on let's say on Friday so Sunday is no and Monday yes Tuesday yes Wednesday yes Thursday is Friday no so this person works four days uh, a week. So this is how the FT is calculated as 80%. All right, that's all we have in this uh, application. And we will discuss more in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.